Hi, just to describe a little bit uh, uh, connections here for the for connecting to the servo drive. Uh, first of all, make sure you have a little uh, uh, kill switch that will be connected uh, on on the two pins here. It will be a simple switch on and off, or uh, a button that can retain down. Uh, a switch will be better, so you can keep it on, keep it off if you want to, so to hold it all the time. Uh, so the analog sensors for the servo, uh, for the speed reference, uh, it will connect to the A1 output on the signal conditioner. See the, here the S reference, and the analog ground that will go to the wire. Okay, uh, it will be right here those two connections right so except those you're gonna need the S on and A clear which they're gonna be connected on the relay module it's uh, those two what those two this uh, enables the servo and this clears any errors from the servo so it can run um, I think that's all oh except you're gonna need to connect the power supply here, see, it shows the little power supply connected that to supply the power to the uh, photoresistors. So you can you have to connect a 12 volt power supply uh, to the com plus. It will be the positive, and to the uh, negative uh, of the power supply. It will connect actually. It will connect. You see it here. Uh, it connects uh, to make loop, but since I'm going to be using relays, uh, the black wire you see, the red, green, that's the ground. So you need to connect the COM negative to the ground there, or to the power supply, because this connects, the power supply connects to the ground connection, uh, if you can see it there, to the ground at the VCC which is the VCC here in this case, it's 12 volts. It goes, we'll pass supply there. Okay, so, um, I don't know if you can make a little wire to hook it up together, but uh, uh, the power supplies usually they have uh, the screw terminals, you can connect those to there. So uh, I'm not gonna make a wire for that. Uh, it will be easy to find out. Uh, for example, if I connect here, just to show you, when you power tap, you should be able to see this enabled if you have everything connected. Uh, if you press the kill switch, it should. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you have uh, the cable in this uh, stable because right now I'm just okay. There it is. Okay, so uh, so this will immobilize the motor so it won't uh, perform any damage while you're adjusting things. So you can uh, activate it if something doesn't look right, you can just uh, disconnect again. Uh, again, uh, these are the String potentiometer, the sensors. They have three wires. They connect right down there. Uh, you can see A1 is the for the first one for, for first motor plus five volt ground. Which uh, you always have to make sure you connect the white to the A1 or A2 or A3. But uh, make sure you connect the red uh, or the black either on uh, five or ground uh, because either, otherwise you're gonna burn the potentiometer so make sure those are always uh, you can use the red for the plus uh, five volt uh, the ground the black for the ground or you can swap them if you want to change the direction of the potentiometer but this has to be always uh, the white one has to be always uh, on the A1 or A2 or 3 so just showing one here just for reference okay 
so when you connect uh, uh, mechanically to the motor uh, the center should be around the middle of the travel you can see it has a big travel but you can adjust it the center will be about this and the travel range won't be all the way up it will be less so well uh, I'll try to do some markings here too as well what goes well uh, where on the AMC uh, so that hope you'll help more to start how to connect the thing uh, I don't want to leave uh, wires connected because uh, they may break uh, or they're sipping or the connectors may be bent I'll, I'll try to pack everything so they'll be safe for the travel for the sipping and uh, have enough instructions how to wire this thing and then uh, it will be very easy just to plug on the server and uh, activate a few things really quickly. Alright, thanks for watching.